Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to stop overthinking. I have been overthinker all my life and overthinking has actually stopped me from doing a lot of things that I wanted to do. So have you ever been in a situation where you are trying to solve a problem and the more you think about it, the more confused and overwhelmed you feel. So that, that's the thing about overthinking. It can actually make things worse instead of better. But the good news is there are ways to break free from the cycle of overthinking. So what is overthinking in the first place? So overthinking comes under the same category as analysis paralysis. That's where we stop ourselves from doing the things because we are in our head too much about the things and we are sort of thinking that the more we think about the thing, the more information we are going to get. That's in theory going to result in more legit decision that we acted sooner rather than later. Now the opposite of analysis paralysis is instinct by instinct. That's basically the opposite problem where you are a sort of person that acts too rashly and don't think of things enough. But usually for me it tends to be the other way. It's not that I struggle with acting too fast it's that I struggle with acting too slow because I am stuck in my head try to overthink all the time. A lot of person doesn't understand the difference between thinking and overthinking. So first, you must understand that there is a big difference between thinking and overthinking. In other words, thinking is known as deep thoughts. So deep thought is solution focused. It aims to solve a problem and it's purposeful. Overthinking, on the other hand, is open and it's circular and doesn't provide useful insights. For example, being occupied with what your colleagues think of you does nothing to move your head. So where does overthinking come from and why do we do it? Essentially, overthinking, there is basically two types of it. There is like past event overthinking and future event overthinking. Now the past overthinking is someone has said something, done something or something happened in our lives and we like to construct a mental narrative about the thing and we tell ourselves this elaborate story. Oh that person said to me this so therefore that must mean A, B, C, D and we construct this ridiculous narrative around it. That just serves us to make us feel bad when in reality that person didn't mean it that way, probably weren't thinking of it in those ways and we just make ourselves miserable by thinking about these things in our head but that's not the kind of overthinking that i am going to focus on here i mean the solution to that is stoicism cbt and a bunch of uh, other things along that category but i am going to focus on the future kind of overthinking where it's kind of analysis paralysis in terms of we want to do a thing in the future and we find ourselves overthinking about the thing and that actually stops us from doing the thing. That leads us to stop following our dreams and ultimately living a life that we regret. Because we were in our heads too much, we overanalyzed and that stopped us from going after the things that we really wanted to. So there are some tips to stop overthinking when you feel like that you are overthinking on this particular topic or you are just overthinking on this problem then try to understand it that that you are overthinking now and now it won't serve a purpose to us so you have to identify when you are overthinking so the first step to stopping overthinking is to recognize when it's happening pay attention to your thoughts and identify when they start to spiral out of control it's important to be aware of the triggers that leads you to overthinking so that you can address them. So one of the most effective ways to stop overthinking is practice mindfulness. So mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment without judgment. It can help you to reduce stress and increase your sense of well-being. Try to focus on your breath and observe your thoughts without getting caught up in them. And the next step is challenge your thoughts. Many times overthinking is fueled by negative thoughts or assumptions. Challenge your thoughts by asking yourself if they are true, if there is evidence to support them and if there are other ways to interpret the situation. This can help you to gain a more balanced perspective and reduce the intensity of your thoughts. And the next point is take action. Overthinking can often lead to inaction. So take action on what you can control and 
let go of what you cannot control. This can help you to feel more empowered and confident in your abilities. So now you know how destructive overthinking is. So a famous batsman Glenn Turner says, overthinking is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you nowhere. You know that overthinking is the biggest cause of unhappiness. And here is another tip to tackle overthinking. That is fear is your compass. That phrase put a lot of things straight in our minds because broadly when you are scared of doing something, it's probably the right thing to do. Cause really we only scared about the things that we feel uncomfortable in some ways and we feel like it's out of our comfort zone and that's where growth is found and you learn a lot doing that thing but if you have practiced everything from mindfulness to challenging your thoughts but you could not control overthinking then i have another solution which is probably the best solution you would ever find so you can overthink all you want but start doing that thing consistently which you are thinking about. So for example, you have started a YouTube channel. You would probably overthink a lot while publishing your first video. But once you start doing it, don't stop. Do it consistently as you may have already heard the phrase, consistency is the key to success. So consistent effort gives you a more fruitful results as compared to inconsistency or doing a thing only once. And final concept that you may find helpful, I found it in the book, think and grow rich. So the author Napoleon Hill calls it imaginary councils meeting. In this concept, you conduct a meeting in your head with the peoples that you admire living or dead. That might be creators, that might be authors, that might be your parents or relatives, people that you look up to in some kind of way. And you imagine in your head that imaginary councils meeting and you ask them for advice on what you should do in that or this particular situation. So obviously our mental construction of these people is never going to predict the future, but that's not the point. The point is I have a bias towards action rather than a bias towards anxiety or overthinking, which is kind of my default state. So there you have it. My top tips for stopping overthinking. Remember overthinking is a common problem, but it's also something that you can overcome by practicing mindfulness, challenging your thoughts, taking action and seeking sport, you can break free from the cycle of overthinking and start living in the present. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video and if you have come this far, then check out this video over here. That is worth checking. That's it. Like and share this video to your friends and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.